Hello lovelies! If you find yourself making the same chicken recipes week after week after week, then today you have come to the right place because I am sharing a brand new, absolutely delicious chicken idea that I think you guys are going to totally love. It's my creamy Caesar chicken. It is an absolute flavor bomb with so many wonderful ingredients, including tons of garlic, lots of Parmesan cheese, some beautiful parsley, some fresh lemon. Now to get started, I am going to be cooking up a little bit of bacon here. So I've got two slices of bacon that I've just chopped up. You don't have to use the bacon in this recipe, but it does add a nice smoky, savory flavor. If you wanted to swap in some turkey or some chicken bacon instead of pork, you definitely have the option to do that for sure. And basically all we're going to do is just let our bacon cook away until it's nice and crispy and it's rendered all of its fat. In the meantime, while that bacon's cooking, I'm just going to turn my attention to my chicken. I wanna season it liberally with some salt and some pepper. Now in this recipe, I've opted for some boneless, skinless chicken breasts, but you could also use thighs or legs, whatever you prefer. Any cut of chicken will really work here. Once that's nice and seasoned, we can go ahead and check in on our bacon that's coming along nicely. Of course, it already smells absolutely incredible in the kitchen. And then once my bacon is fully cooked, I'm gonna go ahead and remove it from the pan and I'll set it aside while I get to work on browning my chicken. Now I'm going to be browning my chicken in that bacon fat to get a lot of extra flavor happening here. And what I'm going to do is just arrange it season side down into my pan. Next, while that's cooking away, I'll season the other side with a little more salt and pepper. And as soon as it's nice and golden on one side, I'll flip it over and let it cook up for another three or four minutes on the underside. We just wanna give it a nice sear, get some beautiful color happening on it before we take these out of the pan and get to work on our amazing creamy Caesar sauce. Look how gorgeous this chicken is already. It's nice and brown on both sides. I'm just going to remove it to a clean plate and set it aside while I work on my sauce for this dish. It's important to remember this chicken is not fully cooked through yet, but we're going to be putting it back into the pan with the sauce. The first step in making this sauce is going to be getting some garlic into the pan. Now, as you guys know, I absolutely love garlic and it really is a quintessential flavor in a classic Caesar salad dressing. So I'm going for it here with about three minced cloves. Because my pan is nice and hot, my garlic's going to cook up in 15 or 30 seconds. And that's how I know it's time to add my cream to the pan. It's important to use a nice heavy cream in this recipe because you want it to be nice and rich and thick and delicious. Give this a quick stir, help to pull up any of those amazing little chicken bits that have sort of settled on the bottom of the pan. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of Dijon mustard. Mustard is such a wonderful ingredient when it comes to a sauce like this. And then I'm also going to go ahead and add just a splash of Worcestershire sauce to this for a bit of umami flavor. Now, if you're not familiar with what goes into a classic Caesar salad dressing, you might be surprised to know that it almost always includes anchovies or anchovy paste. But if you don't have anchovies on hand, Worcestershire sauce is a great substitute because believe it or not, it's actually made with anchovies and it's got that incredible savory flavor. Once all of that tastiness is in your pan, you can give it a nice stir and bring it just to a simmer. You don't wanna overcook this and you definitely wanna make sure your heat is no more than medium low because it's easy to scald your cream. Now at this point, it's time to add even more awesomeness to this sauce. Starting with some freshly grated Parmesan, which you guys know I am such a huge fan of and is another classic ingredient in any Caesar salad dressing. I'll also add my bacon back into the pan at this point, and I'm also going to hit this with the zest and juice of about half a lemon, just to brighten up all of the amazing flavors. And that's pretty much the extent of our sauce for this awesome chicken. The next step, as soon as that sauce is ready, is going to be adding our chicken right back into the pan. What I like to do is just give it a quick turn in the sauce so that it's coated while it finishes cooking. I'm going to pour whatever is left over in my plate back into the pan because there's tons of flavor here and we don't want to waste it. 
And then I'm gonna pop a lid on this guy and let it cook away just until my chicken reaches a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit on a meat thermometer. And oh my gosh, guys, we will be ready to dig in. Look how yummy that looks. I'm just going to give it a quick flip in this sauce just to get it nice and saucy on all sides. And then my final step is going to be adding a little bit of fresh parsley to sort of take it over the top. And then you have so many options. You could serve this over some rice or some pasta, or if you're living that low carb life, you could definitely serve this over some cauliflower rice like I'm doing today with some fresh greens on the side. Guys, you will simply not believe just how much flavor is packed into this recipe. It is absolutely amazing, but really, really simple to pull together. I hope you'll give it a try for yourselves and that you love it as much as I do. If you do give it a try, don't forget to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. Remember, this recipe, like all of my recipes, is featured on HealthyMealPlans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes, drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan, and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. I hope you'll check it out. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there is lots more deliciousness where this came from.